Now, greasy politicians uh, like to go have photo ops and pretend to be uh, of the people, right? And so wherever they go, uh, they do what the locals do. You know, they always get the awkward shots of the politicians stuffing a hot dog in their mouth, right? Uh, it's a very funny one of Michelle Bachman. So now, uh, Scott Walker is going to go to a swing state like Pennsylvania, and so what's he going to do? He's going to be in Philly. He's going to eat cheesesteaks. So we get this photo op. This is the whole point of this trip. Oh, look at that! Stuff in his mouth with a cheesesteak. That's American. American. Uh, here's the problem. It didn't really work out for him because uh, the folks in Philly were pissed. Look, it's easy to piss off people in Philly. Remember, they're the guys who booed Santa Claus during one football game. <laughs> during halftime, Santa Claus, though, they're like, boo, take your long, go home. Okay, he goes to Gino's and Pat's, those are two most famous uh, cheesesteak places in, uh, in Philly. I prefer Abner's, but that's okay. Uh, and he goes to there and makes all sorts of faux pas, which people are annoyed at. It's a fun, light story. It's not actually a big deal that he ate the cheesesteak the wrong way. But here, let me tell you what people tweeted in, and you're going to love one of the, or two of the protesters. Uh, Ethan Booker writes, and Scott Walker cut in line at Geno's to order a cheesesteak with American cheese and no onions. He's not getting out of Philly alive. <laughs> now, look. Of course, he's kidding, right? You're supposed to order it with Wiz. Uh, if you're a veteran like me, you do light extra Wiz. And then the guy behind the counter goes, oh, this, I see, that's good. That means Wiz on top and the bottom, but not too heavy. <laughs> a fat ass like me knows exactly how to order a cheesesteak. Okay, now, uh, that's not actually a big deal. Who cares how he orders it? We're not like Fox News who got actually angry at Obama for putting mustard on his hamburger. How could he do that? That's not American. Okay, but... The guys in Philly uh, are a little, can be cranky. We used to go to a place called Billy Bob's in Philly, and they would they famously had a lead pipe underneath the oven. And, you, and they were very cranky. You could get up to the line, there's a long line, and they'd say cheese or, or chicken. It, that means either cheese steak or chicken steak. And we warned one of our dorky friends who was with us, the big Earl, and he comes up to the line and goes, do you have dolphin-free tuna? And they're like, okay, hold up now. Let me get that <laughs> Like, no, no, he means chicken, he means chicken, move along, move along, right? So this is a Philly thing, this is a Philly thing, okay. Then uh, he also left half of his sandwich at one of the uh, shops, because he'd already eaten a full sandwich in another place. Here, let's show you the picture. He left it on the table there, and so then people in Philly were pissed about that. They got on him, leaving trash behind, uh, and then they said, Scott Walker did not make it through his second cheesesteak, the remnants of Pat's. And, and hey, hey, you know, okay, unacceptable. Okay, fine. Now let's get to the fun part. <laughs> two uh, protesters are following him around, and they have these two signs. Scott Walker lives inside my butt, and Scott Walker sniffs his own poop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, these dudes uh, took trolling to a whole nother level. Okay, I mean, they're right there. <laughs> they're in person, they got the signs. They're, he's trying to, <laughs> the dude's trying to eat it. Cheesesteak, and these guys are walking around with like, you're inside my butt. By the way, why would you even make that sign? I don't think I want to sign this thing. Another human being is inside my ass. <laughs> okay. Politics, it can be fun. It can be fun. All right, uh, finally, we go to Dan Callahan who says, if Scott Walker is dumb enough to cut a steak line in South Philly, do you really want him running the country? Okay, now that is a very good point. He apparently cut the line in both times. Please, I'm Scott Walker, governor of Wisconsin. You're playing with your life in Philly, man. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I wouldn't cut a line in Philly. Okay, now that's why you probably, he probably go back to the earlier picture. That's probably why he needed security like this. Isn't this amazing, man? Only in Philly do you have to show up to a campaign event with this kind of guy packing heat. Look at this. That dude's got a holster. He's got a gun in the holster, and he's ready for action. <laughs> I don't know who he's with. But he's ready in case there's trouble in the line. God, I miss Philly. Philly's a great, great city. You just got to be ready for it. And don't fuck around with their cheesesteaks.